Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of NBA 2K18 My Career Offline. I am Jose Sports Gamer back with another video and before we go into anything else make sure to like this video and subscribe for more videos. Also remember to check out my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter at jdiamai2. Uh, the links to, uh, to all that will be in the description. Now let's talk about the All-Star Weekend. Now at this point in time, the the celebrity uh, the celebrity games and the uh, Rising Stars Challenge already happened uh, as of 7:51 uh, p.m. Uh, February 17, 2018. At the time this was recorded, that's why it took a lot of time for me to say that. But the thing is, uh, you know, like. Maybe not much is at stake in this weekend, but the thing that makes this weekend th that great is the fact that, you know, it's a fun time in which all the stars that were chosen uh, for each event can just hang out and have some fun and, and just and like some type of exhibi exhibition match alongside some other stuff like that where, where Maybe nothing is at, at the stake, but you can. Act, but it there is some purpose to it, as in you know, time to hang out with players that you would otherwise consider to be opponents or rivals or something like that. Uh, so it, it is the Yellowstone weekend is a fun time uh, if you are indeed a basketball fan, an NBA fan, whatever the case may be. So you all you. All of it is right there. If you're a fan of slam dunks, that slam dunks are there. If you're a fan of the three-point shot, right over there, a contest. If you are a fan of seeing who is the, an up-and-coming star, there's an event for you. If you are one of those people who just want to see uh, celebrities, you know, take it on the basketball court, then you also have something for you. And if you're just one of those people that would that wishes that stars would play together at least for one night, that then this is the event for you. Like a lot of people are like, if only all the stars in in, in the league could just play together for the entire season. It's not gonna be possible, especially in today's league. But you know, something's better than nothing, and we get to see all the best stars in the entire NBA in one night and that's the beauty of the all-star weekend we get to see a little bit of everything in one weekend and it's and it's uh, like I said not much is at stake it's not like the MLB all-stars where the winning conference or the winning league actually gets to have its representative representative have uh, Home field advantage, I think, at uh, uh, home field advantage at, at in the World Series or something like that. I'm not sure if the NBA have that kind of rule, especially since uh, since they have like this Team Curry versus Team uh, LeBron type of thing, uh, uh, which kind of means that the East versus West thing is kind of gone. And a lot of people are like, why? Why we? Why is there even a conference type of thing when when the leverage of the leagues is kind of out of whack? Like we all know that the Western Conference is ten times the Western Conference is more powerful than the Eastern Conference. I mean, how many teams can you talk about in the Western Conference? You you talk about teams like I don't know teams like the Warriors, the Spurs. Uh, the Rockets, the Thunder, the Clippers, uh, the Trailblazers. There's, there's always a team that, that you can just name right at the top of your head that are in the Western Conference. Now, in the Eastern Conference, it's like, who can you name that's not either the Cavs or the Celtics or the Raptors or occasionally the Hawks? Like, it is not easy. It is, it is not exactly the case to see. It is not exactly the case. 
um, you know, for the Eastern Conference. You know, it's a weak conference. We do hear about some highlights here and there and whatnot. Like the entire conference thing should be get rid of actually. Uh, because every single team faces a, every other team in the, in the league at least twice during the course of the entire season. And I'm, I'm looking for stuff here, don't worry about it. So you have, okay, so yeah, Team Stefan with the Team LeBron and all that type of stuff. Uh, and you know, and the thing is, you know, like I said, why are you gonna have conferences in today's NBA? Like in the MLB and in the NFL, where there there are limited amount of games and limited amount of series to be played, uh, you know, w in which you cannot play against a, uh, the same team every single year. Then okay, but but in the NBA, it's a completely different story. Uh, in the NBA, you're talking up in the NBA. It's more about a in the NBA. You have to face every single team that you can actually face. Every single team that is actually in the NBA, you know, you can actually have it. Is that you can actually face every single team. So there's no point in having these conferences type of thing or whatnot, because back then, back years ago. Okay, what's the thing? But right now, you know, you have way at good. Uh, you have the ways to travel and whatnot, and planes, and 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 whatever the case may be, which kind of make conferences yeah, like like not as necessary. You know, it, where you know, like I said, conferences are not as necessary anymore. All right, you can just have a 16 team playoffs. We have the 16 best teams go ahead against each other regardless of, of where they are from that would be the beauty of it now again uh, you know it's not like in the NFL or MLB where all the teams regardless of the league in there in the or the conference area uh, each team is spread out across so so the so the divisions and conferences are actually kind of necessary but the NBA eh, not so much and especially when you kind of see how many games are played in each series or whatever the case may be or to each season for each sport in the MLB okay and because there are, you play at the same team uh, probably about eight to ten times uh, a year and if you're in the division you're gonna face them at least you gonna have at least about one to two series every, every month at least or something like that I don't know but the, the thing is in the NBA, you know, conferences should be about about uh, kind of, and, and and as I'm seeing here, you know, like there's no longer this type of Eastern versus Western because as I'm seeing here, LeBron has uh, Anthony Davis, Kevin Durant, and who else, and Lamarcus Aldridge in his team, and those and, and he has Western Conference players on his team, and we go to Curry's team. And he has Giannis Antetokounmpo, uh, the Lamar DeRozan, Joel Embiid, and who else? Al, Al Horford, players of the, of the Eastern Conference. So this is no longer the the, the typical the typical Eastern versus Western type of thing. Because why? Why bother? Because, like I said, it doesn't even make sense. This is a better format. You know, you kind of mix things up a bit. You try to see how things will go. Let's just see how. Stephen Curry does it with Giannis under Cooper on his team. It, it might be an interesting, interesting thing to watch. Uh, so yeah, this might be a good. This is a good format in my opinion. I don't know how you take it, but let's just see how it goes here. And we see Damian Lillard here at, at the at, as an All Star finally. Finally, he's not snubbed out. So this is, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, check, comment, subscribe for more videos. Uh, also follow me on Facebook, uh, like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. See you next time with another video. Peace.